how to create blog readers into leads how to make cash from your blog are blogs important well, I think so as a matter of fact in this video I'm gonna walk you through how you can make cash from your blog if you haven't subscribed so far please do so hit that subscribe button down there turn it from red to gray don't forget to ring the bell turn all bell notifications so you're notified each and every time I go live or if I upload a video the fact is blogs are really crucial to building your brand building your business and getting more sales so in this video I want to walk you through what you need to do what you have to do to compete in today's market orbit media's annual blogging surveys said that 77 percent of bloggers said they get real results you don't want to be left out in the cold you want to be getting real results too according to hubspot as a matter of fact 60 percent of all consumers said they regularly read blogs so if you don't have one once again you're missing out now blogging is so important because it's going to bring more people to your site just by seo alone more people are going to show up at your site and if you think about it no matter if you're selling a product or you're selling a service more people on your site that's always a good thing so let's first talk about lead magnets you need lead magnets what are lead magnets lead magnets are something that you give somebody for free so that you can get their contact information the first thing you could do is downloadable books downloadable ebooks they cost you nothing all you have to do is make an ebook now if you don't want to make your own ebook you can go to a service like upwork or fiverr or whatever it is and have somebody else write an ebook for you and then you can offer that as a download the next thing is white papers um, these are used mostly in business to business where it is a case study of another business that got some good results and how they went about doing that so you could do white papers the next thing i like is checklist and cheat sheets checklist and cheat sheets people want a simple and easy way to get their problems solved um, we own a survival food company right here you can see uh, and you can check that out if you'd like but what we do is we offer people ways to protect their home ways to protect their family um, you know ways to uh, survive in the wilderness whatever it is we offer all these different checklists and cheat sheets to help people out that's something you could do in your business also you could also offer downloadable webinars or you could offer downloadable video courses all these things work really well to get leads once you get them in your ecosystem then you can start selling them and I will take a second here to say once you get them in your ecosystem that is your digital marketing ecosystem and you need a good software to actually market to these people and I'm gonna recommend Kartra uh, below in the description I talk about Kartra a lot in my videos just because it works so well and everybody that gets it likes it if you look in the description below you'll find a link to a video you can watch that tells you all about Kartra and if you like it with my link you can get it for only one dollar so check that out and the last thing you can do if you downloadable thing is a product demonstration you know we have survival food so we could do a video on how to use that survival food how to make recipes with it you can do all kinds of different things with our survival food so that's something else we could do but there's all kinds of different lead magnets that you could put out there to generate more traffic in your blog but you have to have it right you got to have some links in your blog where they can download these things participate in these things watch these things so that you can get a lead let's talk about how we're going to create this blog lead generation strategy very important number one understand your audience what are their likes what are their dislikes what are their pain points all these things are super important that you understand it so that you can offer all of these opt-ins for problems they have you want to be able to solve their problems number two you want to define the goals and outline what your content is going to be this is very important that you do have a blog strategy if you don't know what you're trying to do you know are you trying to sell something are you trying to get more leads are you trying to get more opt-ins are you trying to get people to sign up for your webinar what are you trying to do make sure you understand that up front number three is offer value understand that whatever you give them for free they're going to look at that and say well whatever you've got that's paid for must be better than this so if you you give them really really good content if you offer them something of high high value they're going to be a whole lot more likely to buy your product or buy into your service if you don't give them a lot of value for the freebie then they're going to think that what you have may not be that great number four increase your reach and if you have a blog you want to get it out there to as many people as possible so having it on your website is great that's a good start but now you want to post those blogs on social media on Instagram on Facebook on Twitter wherever you have social media you want to make sure that you post that you have this blog people can click on it and go to your blog super important that you do that 
number five is test use an ab strategy in other words try different headlines try different pictures you can do all of this in kartra make sure that you get kartra i told you about the link below but i could change an image in kartra and send half my traffic to one page and half my traffic to another page whereas everything's the same but the image and i can figure out which image works better so it's really important that you test these things and then maybe you want to test the headline maybe you want to test the offer all these things are really important and you can automatically do it in kartra and number six of course is measure the results what happened what are your key performance indicators what is your kpi are you achieving what you're trying to achieve you've got to constantly check this stuff um, there's a saying in business that whatever gets checked improves okay so you need to make sure that you're checking these things at all times and I don't mean at the end of the month I mean usually on a daily basis what happened that day what results did you get it don't wait until it's too late in other words don't spend a lot of money or a lot of time and a lot of effort on something that's not getting the results you want you also want to use natural CTAs in your blog and what I mean by that is if you've got a blog let's say we had a blog on our website and we were talking about food storage uh, I may be talking all about food storage and the best things to store and then in one sentence I may say in the best place to get you know long-term storage canned meats is uh, here and I may have a link that's going to take them back to a sales page that I have for some canned meats if you're doing a blog and the only thing you're doing is saying leave your comments below you're doing it wrong okay you need to have links in your blog if I see a blog that doesn't have a link I wonder why the person even wrote it now where are you gonna put these links let me put something up on the screen here so you can see it um, you can put it at the top of the page you could put it at the end of the post you could put it within the post you could put it in the sidebar um, you could use it as a floating or scrolling pop-up which you can also do in Kartra by the way guys uh, you can use it as a sliding pop-up which you can also do in Kartra guys uh, you can use it as a full screen overlay which you can also do in Kartra have you noticed Kartra does a lot of this stuff for you um, but you can use these in several different places so that people will opt in so that people will get whatever you've got and they'll become a lead instead of just a blog reader now which one you use well that's entirely up to you but I want you to think about this most people don't scroll most people don't scroll they will go to a page and about 85% of them never scroll to the bottom of the page so if all of your call to actions or at the bottom of a page which I've seen this before you're missing out on 85% of the people I would say you're gonna need to have some type of call to action whether it be a banner at the top whether it be a link within the first sentence or two that is at the top of the page because that's where they land and that's where 85% of the people stay and they never go to the bottom of the page so it's really important that whatever you do with CTA wise that it's there when they get there maybe you don't want to put it in the verbiage maybe you don't want to put a banner there but you can have a pop-up that pops up after five seconds or ten seconds you could do that so there's a lot of things you could do but you want to make sure that everybody sees it and the only way to do that is have it immediately there when they land on that blog you can also offer upgraded content better content more exclusive content if they opt in number five is you could also use exit pops okay if somebody's leaving your page this is something else you can do in Kartra guys if somebody's leaving your page and that mouse goes away from the page you can have a pop-up that pops up that says wait before you go grab our $29 report today only absolutely free uh, and you can get them to opt in now keep in mind if your blog is on let's say WordPress and I've been talking a lot about Kartra it doesn't mean that you have to build your blog in Kartra um, you could actually build all your opt-ins and pop-ups and all that and embed those on your WordPress website because it integrates with WordPress and number six and the final one is focus on a buyer persona this is so important guys who is your customer I know on YouTube I look at the persona okay I have the majority of the people that watch my video are men I know that it's about 90% men um, and then I look at age groups the majority of the people that watch my videos are 18 to 24 so I'm gonna target my uh, content towards those people that's about 60 some odd percent of my audience uh, another 30 some odd percent is 25 to 35 okay so from 18 to 35 that's my audience that's 95 percent of my people so that's what I'm gonna target it towards people who want to make money online people want to learn things online but it's it's you know not a retired type person though I have retirees that watch my videos too I know my audience and you need to target all of your stuff towards your persona what is the age what is the gender where do they live um, what is their income what are their interests make sure that you target a persona now I see a lot of people say well once I get a lot of traffic I'm gonna do some of this stuff I'm gonna put links in there and I'm I'm gonna put all these opt-ins and pop-ups as soon as I get some traffic 
no you want to do this right away why would you wait even if you have no traffic now it's a good time to start building this why go back to all those blogs and add this stuff go ahead and do it now start monetizing your site now and the best way to monetize it is to turn those readers into leads and the best way to do that is through Kartra once again there is a link below click that link you can watch a video you'll see all the things that Kartra does and I know you'll want it and it's an absolutely free click you don't even have to opt in with an email but if you do want it you can get it for only one dollar I hope those videos helped you out I hope you see that you need a blog and you need to turn those blog readers into leads best way to do that is through the software that I've mentioned which is Kartra and I think that's all we got today I hope this helped you out a lot if you have any questions feel free to put them in the comments section below ask me anything you want or just say hello and introduce yourself thanks so much for watching don't forget to subscribe turn that red button into a gray button and ring the bell turn on all bell notifications so you're notified each and every time I go live or if I upload a video thanks so much and I'll see you in the next video Hey, thanks for watching my video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click that little bell right there so you can be notified every time I do a new video. Also, click on one of those videos there. Keep watching on my channel.